Okay, so welcome to all of you. Now we have seen what you mean by basis of a vector space. Okay, so we'll extend that. So that is what the dimension of the vector space. So dimension of the vector space is depend on the basis of the vector space. Okay, so what is the definition of the dimension? So the number of vectors in the basis. So what is number of vectors in a basis of non-zero vector space B is called a dimension. So that means what number of elements in the basis is nothing but a dimension of a vector space. Okay, if it is not generated by finite set of the vectors, then it is called infinite dimensional. Okay, so suppose B is what a single term zero vector, so it is we know that it is always linearly independent. So dimension of such vector space is zero. So there are infinite subspaces of dimension one. So infinite subspace of dimension one. So that is what all the lines passing through origin. So if you consider the subspace or uh, subspace of the vector space, uh, the line passing through origin. We know that the line passing through origin is a subspace, and dimension of that subspace, uh, the, the vector space, is one. The dimension of that vector space is one. So there are infinitely many subspaces or vector spaces of dimension two. So that is what the plane passing through origin. So the dimension of the vector space, the plane passing through origin, is a uh, uh, two. Okay. So remember this. Now we we'll go for the standard basis and dimension of this one. Okay. Note one. So S is equal to e one bar is equal to one zero e two bar is equal to zero one. It's a standard basis of. Standard basis for R two. So therefore, dimension of R two is equal to two. This is called a basis. So the base, the number of elements in the basis of R two is two. So this is called stand. This is called a standard basis. Okay. The uh, second uh, S is equal to. We we'll write this is what e one bar is equal to one zero zero e two bar is equal to zero one zero. E three bar is equal to zero zero one. Each standard basis of standard basis for R three. Therefore, dimension of R three is equal to three. Okay. Similarly, S is equal to E one bar is equal to one zero zero dot 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 zero. So this is the n. Okay. This n plus. Okay. So e two bar is equal to zero one zero dot 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 zero dot 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 e n bar zero 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 dot dot dot. Uh, this is one now. One. Each standard basis standard basis for R n. So therefore. Dimension of R n, dimension of R n is n. Dimension of R n is n. Okay. So next, uh, S is equal to one x x square dot 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 x to the power n minus one. Is standard basis. Is standard basis. Uh, I will take n now. No problem for this. Standard basis for p n. That means what? The set of all polynomials of degree less than or equal to n. So how many vectors are there? So one, two, three. This is n, and this is x to the power zero. So that means n plus one vectors are there. Okay. So therefore, dimension of p n is equal to n plus one. So that is what? Dimension of p two is equal to three. Dimension of p three. Dimension of P three is four, and so on. Okay, so dimension of P two the standard basis are what then for P two is what one x x square. Dimension the uh, standard uh, standard basis for P three is what one x x square x to the power three is the standard basis for P three. Now we have seen some uh, vectors in a basis in R n also. So note that the dimension of R n is n now. Okay. So for the matrices now, okay. So we'll do uh, S is equal to. So I will write that like this. 
zero. Okay, so zero one zero zero. Zero zero one zero. Zero 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 one. Each standard basis for m two by two over r. So therefore, dimension of m two by two over r is what four. So therefore, dimension of m m by n over r is equal to m n is m n. So for m n, that means for suppose this is the matrix one zero zero. So zero zero zero. Then what? You have to shift this one here, then one here, then one here, one here, one here. That will be the standard basis. This matrix is what? Two by three. Right? How many matrices are there then? Six matrices are there. So this is what? Two into three. That is six. So dimension of m two by three over R is the same as what? M n. That is what? Two into three. That is six. Okay. Uh, so in this way you can uh, write the standard basis for any matrix uh, any matrix of any order now okay now uh, we will write a note also note if s is a basis uh, if s is a subspace S is a subspace, subspace of a vector space, vector space V, V where dimension of n, a dimension of V is equal to n, dimension of V is equal to n. Okay. If S is linearly independent, okay, S is linearly. Linearly independent, then then number of element in S is less than or equal to dimension of V. Then number S is linearly independent, only linearly independent, right? So the dimension of V is equal to uh, the, then the number of element in S is less than or equal to uh, dimension of the V. So this is very important note. Okay. So now if if S is Linearly, linearly dependent, then, then linearly dependent, then you cannot say this. Okay, no guarantee of this one. Okay, okay. So keep this. Okay. So we take a theorem now. So we have we can do this note. Uh, if S is linearly independent, then the then number of element in S is less than equal to number of element in the uh, uh, that is dimension of V. Okay. So the theorem is what any two bases theorem. Any two bases. Any two bases of finite of finite dimensional. Of finite dimensional vector space V, vector space V has has same number of elements elements. Okay, proof. Let V is equal to V one bar, V two bar, dot dot dot. V n bar and V prime is equal to V one bar V two bar dot dot dot. Oh, uh, I can say this is U one bar U one bar U two bar dot 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 U m bar. V the basis V the basis basis for for the finite dimensional. Vector space, vector space V. Okay, so therefore 
B and B prime are linearly independent. Linearly independent. Linearly independent. So B is B linearly independent and B prime. Okay, so let B be the linearly independent. Let B be the linearly independent and B prime be the basis. Be the basis for B. So now B is linearly independent and B prime is the basis. So that means dimension of B is nothing but the number of elements in B. So that is what. Uh, so that is that is dimension of B is equal to number of elements in B prime. Now B is linearly independent. So if B is linearly independent, then number of elements in B is less than or equal to dimension of the vector space. So therefore, number of elements in B is less than or equal to dimension of B, and this is equal to number of elements in B prime. So that is what number of elements in B less than or equal to number of we call this as one. We call this as one. Okay. Now, second is we we'll assume that we we'll assume that B here what B linearly independent. So what we'll do? We B prime is linearly independent. Okay. Now let B prime be the linearly independent and B be the basis be the basis for V. So therefore, dimension of V. E is equal to number of elements in B. Okay, so that is uh, instead of this A, what we'll do? What we'll do? Okay, no problem for this one. Huh? So how many vectors we have taken here? Yen. Okay. So number of elements in B is yen. Okay. Less than or equal to yen. We call this as one now. We call this as yen. Okay. Because number of vectors in B is nothing but yen. And number of vectors in B prime is m. Okay, so therefore, okay. Now B prime is linearly independent, and dimension of B is equal to number of elements in B and number of elements in uh, B prime is m. Number of elements in B prime is m. So that means what? Number of elements in B prime, number of elements in B prime is less than or equal to dimension of B, and that is what m. So therefore, what is the uh, number of elements in this? M is less than or equal to M. So we call this as second now. We call this as second. Okay. So from from first and second. What is the first? M less than or equal to M. And what is the second? M less than. They are the numbers less than or equal to each other. Okay. So this is equal to M is equal to M. So that we saw the number of elements in B. So that is that is. Number of elements in B prime is equal to number of elements in B. So therefore, B and B prime have the same number, same number, number of elements, same number of elements. So that means what? Any two bases of a vector space have the same number of elements. So that bases or the vectors may be different. Vector. That means what? Suppose S is equal to this. Uh, zero, one, uh, zero, zero, one. Okay. So one, zero, zero. Okay. Zero, one, zero. Okay. So this is the basis. Okay. So you, uh, if you one, two, three. This is four, six, nine. Four, six, nine. Okay. So eleven, five, uh, three. This may be a basis. May be a basis. But if you add one more vector here, one, five, seven. So this will not a basis. Number of element in S, uh, number of element in S and S prime should be the same. Vectors may be different. Okay, vectors may be different. Vectors may or may not be the same, but the number of elements are same. So that means what? If you take a R three, then what? Then uh, in the basis there should be the three vectors, right? So that means if S is the basis, then number of element in S is three. If S prime is the basis, then number of element in S prime is three. The number of elements are same. Okay, the vectors may or may not be the same. Okay, need not be the same.
so one more important theorem is that uh, let okay so theorem let b p n dimensional n dimensional vector space vector space so n is greater than equal to 1 this is obvious then any linearly independent set independent set containing containing n vectors n vectors n vectors of b containing n vectors of b is a basis is a basis for b what this theorem tells us this is very important theorem okay so proof what this theorem tells okay so given that okay so given that given that the di uh, dimension of b dimension of b is equal to n okay so let s is equal to v1 bar v2 bar dot 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 b n bar b a linearly independent set b a linearly independent linearly independent set containing containing n vectors n vector of b that means this v1 bar v2 bar v n bar each uh, from v that means s is the subset of v that means s is the the linearly independent subset of v you may say that this is linearly independent subset of v so now what is our aim to prove that s is the basis so we want to prove that we want to prove that that s is a basis for s is the basis for v so s is the basis for v that means what we have to prove s is linearly uh, s is linearly independent and s can be so s is already linearly independent right so only we have to prove only we have to prove we have to prove s span <coughs> because what we want to prove s is the basis so what is the definition of basis a linearly independent set right so and s span b so s is already linearly independent that means only we have to prove s span b okay so s span b means what let any vector from b show that that is the linear composition of the vectors in B. Okay, so let V bar belong to uh, V bar belong to B. Let V bar belong to B. Let V bar belong to B. Bar belong to okay. S one is equal to so that V bar not equal to uh, do not belong to S. Okay. Other than this, that means V bar is not other than V one bar V two bar this. Okay. So S one is equal to V one bar V two bar dot 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 V n bar V bar. So let let k1 v1 bar plus k2 v2 bar plus dot 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 plus k n v n bar plus k v bar is equal to zero bar. So I call this as one. I call this as one. I want to prove that this s1 is linearly dependent. So what I have to prove v bar is expressed as a linear combination of the vectors in s because I want to prove s span b that means i want to prove v bar is a linear combination of the vectors in v that i want to prove okay so i have taken this linear combination okay if k is equal to 0 if k is equal to 0 then 1 implies then 1 implies so your k is equal to 0 
Okay, so then one implies what? Uh, K1 V1 bar plus K2 V2 bar plus dot 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 Kn Vn bar is equal to 0 bar. Right? But S is linearly independent. This is what? A linear combination of vectors in S. This is a linear combination of vectors in S. Okay? So if S is, uh, this is linear combination of vectors in S, but S is linearly independent. S is linearly independent. That means all scalars are 0. But S is linearly independent. Therefore, we have therefore we have k1 is equal to k2 dot 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 kn is equal to 0 k1 k0 so therefore what therefore k is equal to k1 is equal to k2 dot 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 is equal to kn is equal to 0 so now this is the linear combination of vectors in s1 this is the linear combination of vectors in s1 so this implies that s1 is linearly independent s1 is linearly independent Okay, so S1 is linearly independent, right? This is contradiction. This uh, S1 is linearly independent, and number of elements in S1 is n plus 1. Number of elements in S1 is n plus 1. This is contradiction. This is contradiction. Because what? If S1 is linearly independent subset of V, S1 is the linearly independent subset of V and dimension of V is equal to N. Dimension of V is equal to 1. S1 is linearly independent and dimension of V is equal to N. So that means number of elements in N must be same as number of elements in S1 is less than or equal to N. So this is not true. Right? This is not true. So this is contradiction to the fact that to the fact that dimension of V is equal to N dimension of V is equal to N. So that means what? So why this happened? Because we have assumed that K is equal to 0. We have assumed that if K is equal to 0, then what? Your S1 will be the linearly independent. And S1 is linearly independent, so number of elements in S1 should be the less than or equal to N. But the number of elements in S1 is what? Greater than 1. Okay? So number of elements in S1 is greater than or equal to N. Or greater than N. Greater than N. Right? So S1, number of elements S1 is greater than This is a contradiction to the fact that dimension of V is equal to 1. If S in any subset, any subset of V is linearly independent, then the number of elements in that subset, subset should be the less than equal to 1. But we have greater, so the number of elements is greater. Okay? So therefore, we must have, we must have K not equal to 0. K not equal to 0. Right? So one implies that one implies that minus k v bar. I have shifted that minus k v bar. But uh, uh, to write the minus k to this side, I will write this side. Okay. So this is what then k1 v1 bar plus k2 v2 bar plus kn vn bar. Okay. So I can write this. x is equal to y same as y is equal to x. Okay. So I can write this. Now k not equal to 0. So therefore I can divide by k. So what I get this v bar is equal to minus k1 upon k v1 bar plus minus k2 upon k v2 bar plus dot 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 minus kn upon k vn bar. So what is this? v bar is a vector of v is expressed as a linear combination of the vectors in S. Right? So this implies that S spans S spans v and this implies that S is a basis for basis for v. Okay, so now the theorem is over. So what is the benefit of this theorem? What is the benefit of the theorem? So suppose, what is the benefit of this theorem? You know the dimension of Rn, you know the dimension of Pn, you know the dimension of matrices. Okay, the vector space for matrices. That means what? Suppose this is R3 now. Okay, now S is equal to what? 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4 5, 6, suppose. This is 7, 2, 1, suppose. And we want to check whether this is the basis. Whether this is the basis. Okay. Now what is the, this? This is the subset of R3. And what is the dimension of R3? Dimension of R3 is 3. Now this S is the set containing 3 vectors. S is the set containing 3 vectors. So what is the theorem? Uh, no, what do you want to prove? So uh, if the question is that, show that it is the basis. Or determine it is the basis. Or determine whether S is the basis for R3. So we will take the benefit of this theorem now. 
So if you want to prove this is the basis, what you have to do? You have to show that this is linearly independent and yes, span me. But this theorem tells you that, so if you know the dimension of that vector space and if the set is linearly independent, then that is the basis. So only this is what the set containing three vectors. If it is linearly independent, then this is the basis. No need to prove the S span V. No need to prove that in the previous uh, section, we have proved that S is the uh, S is the linearly independent and S span V. So no need to do that S span V. No need to prove this S span V. Only we have to prove that I have S, uh, S is linearly independent. Okay. So this is the theorem. Now see here what? So one thing we are you, you, you can save your time to show that yes, span V. Just show this is yes, is linearly independent. Yes, and so just say yes, is linearly independent set and dimension of R is 3. So therefore, what? Uh, therefore, yes, containing the three vectors, uh, yes, is linearly independent set containing three vectors and dimension of uh, R3 is 3. So therefore, yes, is the basis for V. Yes, is the basis for R3. So it is enough now. Okay, no need to prove this is S span V. Okay, so this theorem, uh, 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 this theorem is uh, applicable to show that it is the basis. So that means what? You can save your time to show that S span V. Okay, no need to uh, show that S span V. So according to this theorem, only we have to show that this is a linearly independent. Okay. Now one more theorem is that the same thing here. Either you can prove the S span V or S is linearly independent. So they just show one of the things, either S span V or uh, S is the linear independent. So it prove that uh, if S span V, then also uh, S span V and containing, uh, S containing the N vectors and dimension of V is equal to N, then S with the basis. That will prove the theorem. Okay. So that theorem, again the theorem, uh, let V be N dimensional, N dimensional vector space vector space n greater equal to 1 then then any subset of v any subset of v with n vectors with n elements n elements which span v which span v is a basis it's a basis. Okay. Solution. Uh, given that dimension of V is equal to, uh, you have to write a big V. Okay. Because the sets are denoted by capital letter. Okay. So let S is equal to V1 bar, V2 bar, dot dot dot, Vn bar, V a subset of subset of V which span which span V. So clearly S contain N vector. Okay. Number of element in S is N. Okay. Now we want to prove that we want to prove that to prove that S is a basis for S is a basis for V. So only way to prove, only we have to prove S is linearly dependent. S is linearly dependent. dependent linearly dependent then then one vector in S one vector in S is a linear combination of linear combination of one vector is a linear combination of vectors in uh, of uh, S is a linear combination of remaining remaining vectors in S in S
okay, instead of this one, uh, if S is linearly dependent, directly we will write this. If S is linearly dependent, if S is linearly dependent, then number of, uh, then dimension of V, then dimension of V is less than, is less than N. Dimension of V less than N. This is contradiction. This is contradiction. This is contradiction. So therefore, therefore, S must be must be linearly linearly independent. Linearly independent. Okay. So therefore, S is a basis for V. Okay. The theorem is over. That means what? If S containing n vector, if you know the dimension of that uh, vector space, then only we have to prove that either S is linearly independent or S can be. But uh, if S can be is complicated, uh, then the linearly independent. But for linearly independent, you have to just uh, solve the homogeneous system and just we have to check whether the uh, rank of the matrix is same as the number of unknown or number of vectors or not. Okay. So now we we'll do one problem on it. We will take a problem. Uh, S is equal to S is equal to 3 0 3 0 minus 6 3 0 minus 6 minus 4 1 7 uh, minus 2 1 5 1 5 each S is a basis each S is a basis of R3 R3 Okay, so only you have to determine whether this is a basis or not. Okay, so how many elements are there? How many elements are there? There are three elements. Okay, yes. Okay, and what is the dimension of R3? Is 3. So what? We want to check S is the basis. Actually, the basis is what? S is linearly independent and n S family. So just we have seen the way of proved that if S is the linearly independent set containing n vectors and dimension of V is equal to n, then it is the basis. Okay, so only you have to we have to check S span V or S is linearly independent. But S span V is a publicated, so instead of that, we will prove S is a linearly independent. Okay, linearly independent is a not a complicated than the span V. Okay, solution. Given that, given that S is equal to this. Okay, so A is equal to because there are elements in R three. Okay, so just we will find a determinant. And with the help of the determinant, we can uh, judge whether it is linearly independent or not. Okay, so determinant A is equal to 3 into 5 minus 7 plus 4 into 0 plus 6, 0 plus 6 minus 2 into 0 plus 6, 0 plus 6, both are 0, 0 plus 6. Okay, so this is what minus 2, so minus 6 plus 24 minus 12. Okay, so this is what this is 12, so this is 6. So determinant A not equal to 0. So therefore S is linearly independent. Okay, S is linear. therefore S is S is linearly independent set, linearly independent set containing containing three vectors, containing three vectors and Dimension of V, uh, dimension of V, dimension of R3 is 3. So therefore, S is a basis for, S is a basis for R3 or basis of R3. Okay, so the problem is over. Very simple thing here. Okay, so just uh, we have uh, in the, uh, the topic uh, uh, basis, so we have proved that this is S can be also. Okay, don't do that. Okay, only do this one. Just we have to add this uh, two statement only. Just to acquire this two statement, what? S is linearly independent set, only one statement. S is linearly independent set, containing three vectors and dimension of R3 is equal to 3. Instead of the span, just write all the thing. S is the basis for R3. Okay? So, no need to prove this is what? Yes, span B. Okay? We will take a benefit of this theorem now. Okay. So, S is equal to, S is equal to 1, 0, 0, uh, 2, 3, 0, 0. 
its s is a basis basic is s is a basis for for r3 basis for r3 so now number of element in s uh, okay solution solution okay given that given that yes okay so dimension of dimension of r3 is equal to 3 okay number of element in s is strictly less than dimension of r3 okay so if s is the basis then the number of element in the basis is same as the dimension of this okay so therefore s is not s is not basis so even though if s contains four vector if s contains four vector okay so second word s is equal to 1 2 3 uh, 1 uh, uh, minus 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 suppose okay each is s is a basis s is a basis of r3 of r3 so dimension of r3 is 3 dimension of r3 is 3 so s containing what more than 3 vectors more than 3 vectors then that is always linearly dependent so what s is equal to this s is this okay number of element in s is greater than 3 is greater than 3 so therefore what s is linearly dependent s is linearly dependent therefore s is therefore s is not a basis not a basis of for r uh, r3 okay uh, less than 3 r greater than 3 that will not be a basis Minus 1 plus 4x plus twice x square 5 plus twice x minus x square is if s is a basis for fit. Okay. Okay, solution given that s is equal to this. So what we will check? So see what is dimension of V2? Dimension of V2 is equal to 3. That means what uh, now S contains 3 vectors. Right? So just to be, if S is linearly independent, then S will be the basis. Okay. So only we will check whether it is linearly independent or not. Okay. So let A into 4 plus 6x plus x square uh, plus B into minus 1 plus 4x plus twice x square plus c into 5 plus twice x minus x square is equal to 0 1 0 1 means 0 polynomial don't write simple 0 ok write 0 1 that is a vector polynomial vector that is 0 plus 0 ok so we will collect the constant term we will collect the coefficient of x and we will collect the coefficient of x square so this is what is 4a minus b plus 5c is equal to 0 because that is 0 vector means 0 so this is same as what actually 0 plus 0 x plus 0 x square ok Okay, so now we will collect the coefficient of x now, 6a plus 4b plus twice c is equal to 0. Uh, then this is what, uh, a plus twice b minus c is equal to 0. So this system can be written in matrix form a x is equal to 0. This system can be written in matrix form a x is equal to 0. Just we will consider a only, okay. So that is what, 4, 6, 1, 4, 6, 1. Okay, then minus 1, 4, 2, uh, then 5, 2, minus 1, 5, 2, minus 1, okay, 
So we want to convert this into equal form. Now what is here? We will shift the one is here. So, so this one R1 B. So 1, 2, minus 1, 6, 4, 2. Just we have to find the rank of this matrix and with the help of the rank of the this matrix, we will check the system as zero solution of not. Okay. So now we have to do this zero now. This is what R2 minus 6 R1, R3 minus 4 R1. Okay. So 1, 2 minus 1. 1, 2, minus 1. Okay. Minus 6 plus 6, 0. Minus 12 plus this. So this is minus 8. Ma plus 6. So this is 8 now. This is 8. Okay. Now minus 4 plus 4, 0. So minus 8 or uh, minus, minus 8, minus 1. So this is minus 9. So then plus 4. So this is 9. Okay. So I can do this operation. Uh, I can make this as the one also, no problem for this one. Okay, so this is what 1 by 8 minus 1 by 8 R2 and minus I will keep this as 1 by 9 now. 1 by 9. I will keep this side minus as it is because I will take just the addition. Okay, if opposite side we have to take the addition. If the same side we have to take the subtraction. So I will keep the opposite side so that we get addition now. 1, 2, minus 1, uh, 0, 1, minus 1, then 0. Minus 1, 1 now. Okay, we get opposite side now here. Okay, so R3 plus R2. Don't write R2 plus R3 now because we want to change R3. So, both uh, we want to change R3, so write R3 first. Okay, don't write this is R2 plus R3 because we want to change R3. So, write R3 uh, first. Okay, so note that R3 plus R2 will not be same as R2 plus R3. Note that. So, you are saying that R2 plus R3 that means we have to change R2. So we want to change R3, so, so, uh, so this is R2 I am changing, so we write R2 first, okay. So if you want to change R2, don't multiply any uh, number for R2 now. So this is what is 1, 2, because that is not an elementary operation there, 1, minus 1. Uh, then you have to just add now this word, 0, 0, 0. This is what, 0, 0, 0. Now what is the rank of A? Rank of A is equal to 2. This is less than, less than number of unknown. Number of unknown. That is number of unknowns are 3. A, B, C. That is unknown. Okay. So therefore, the system has, the system has at least, the system has at least one non-zero solution. So if rank of A is equal to number of unknowns, then the system has only zero solution. But here rank of A is less than number of unknowns. The system has at least one non-zero solution. Therefore, S is linearly dependent. S is linearly dependent. And S is linearly dependent, it is not a subspace. S is not, not a basis. It is not basis for P3. So not, okay, so that means what, suppose this is linearly independent, okay, so suppose by chance you get a number of nothing, okay, uh, number of uh, rank of A is equal to 3, is equal to number of unknown, so then the system has only zero solution, therefore S is linearly independent, okay, so dimension of, uh, okay, S is linearly independent set containing 3 vectors and dimension of P2 is equal to 3, therefore S is a basis for P3, okay, this is the simple thing, okay, I hope that you understand this one. How to show that it is basis? For basis, uh, so if you know the dimension of the vector space, no need to show that uh, it is a spare, no need to show both the, the things. I have uh, S is linearly independent, yes. So what you have to prove only one thing, either it is linearly independent or S can be. Okay. So if S is linearly independent, it will be the basis. If S can be, it is the basis. Okay. No need to do both the things now here. Okay. Yeah, if you know the dimension of the vector space. If you don't know the dimension of the vector space, then you have to both the, you have to prove both the thing. S can be and S is the linearly independent. If you want to prove it is the basis. Okay. I hope that you understand this one. You can solve any problem on it. Okay. So now we stop here. Thank you.